Top video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create an animated custom shape and use it with a zoom effect. So you can zoom out, or obviously you could zoom in as well. Now, just going to quickly go over to the custom shape tool. Might be in a different position on your uh, toolbar. I've actually customized mine. So just select the custom shape tool, go for shape, and I'm going to be using here some shapes cross design. So I'm just going to select that one. And it's a vector layer, so it can be any size. And the key thing here is to really start with a very big design as a layer. So just going to create this custom shape, very, very large, reasonably large anyway. And maybe go 4,000 by 4,000, etc. Once you've actually done that, what you'll notice if you go over here to Window and Timeline, just bring that up, just click Create Video Timeline, and you've got an option here for shape. Now, just expand that up. You'll notice this position, opacity, style. Sadly, there's no scale or rotate, etc. So, how to do it? Well, what you can do, and that's why I've created it very large, that's the key thing. So make it very, very large, and then go to a layer, and smart objects, and convert to smart object. So once that's done, and now, obviously as long as you don't go bigger than this, it's obviously if you go smaller, it doesn't matter so much, doesn't matter at all in fact. So make it bit much bigger than that and you'll get really sort of not such great results. So just gonna go down there and you can see then you've got transform. Now what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna because I want to zoom, so I'm just gonna resize that now and I'm gonna make it fairly small. Make it fairly tiny like that. See there, perfectly okay, and then Click there, just you've got a little stopwatch, a little design, so transform. And now, let's go along to the end, and then, right, obviously a bit bigger, and just move that slightly out of the way. And of course you can move it around, do other things, you rotate it, etc. But you've got another little keyframe being added there. So if you go down, you can see now, it will zoom in and out like that and you can just obviously just play it and you can see it now if you actually want to do this probably better it's probably go and use something like after effects much better and there's obviously other uh, video packages but certainly within photoshop you can do a, a reasonable range of, of things but with obviously after effects you could add effects to it as well which is really great Ooh. now that's it just a quick run through of how you can use custom shapes with animations and creating a zoom effect. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.